Ralph Affleck's axe-wielding skills come in handy fueling Heather's wood stove. As a three-year-old, he tackles bigger logs helping Dad. Ralph's not famous as a child prodigy. His claim to fame came late with a shed he built himself out in the middle of a horse paddock. I'm a plain straight out bushy, that's all. The timber mill is unique. Instead of a team of workmen, it's a one-man show. Locals dubbed it Ralph's Folly. It had never been done before. Built from scratch by a senior citizen. For several years, it provided amusement for the valley. Nobody laughs anymore. <laughs> Many's the day I haven't laughed very much myself. <laughs> Early frustrations came with the absence anywhere of a working example. I don't want to build something that I've got to be like playing yourself tennis where you serve the damn thing up and go down the other end of them and hit it back again. I want to make something that will come back itself. Being first meant building everything from scrounged parts. There's uh, hydraulic cylinders here out of Canberra bombers, diffs out of a, Ma out of a Mack truck. There's uh, a, a, another gearbox up there out of a Mack. There's a diff also out of a 1912 Republic truck. Recycling is a religion. Take the log skidder. Revolutionary when Ralph built it over 40 years ago. However, the hub of the show is 26 colour-coded levers to trigger as many functions, like something out of a fictional monster movie. Yet, the product is true. And it is absolutely dead accurate. Uh, all the builders that get their timber and that sort of thing, they can't get over how straight it is. I get the orders for him when they ring up, because I tell them that he cuts top-class timber. No shortage of offcuts for that wood stove to turn out smokos for a growing stream of tour groups. Absolutely mind-boggling. That's what I say it is, mind-boggling. And Ralph has had a few near misses at times too with accidents, of course, but still, he's still going. Just show you how tough he is. Ralph can't mechanise the first job he learned, keeping his hand in with Ivan Hancock. I, I did wonder, and, it, and, it, and he succeeded, and I have to admire him for that. His sons are away in the city, so Ralph is the end of the line. I'll be 80 years old in four years' time, and I promised my wife I'm going to pull the pin. That's the plan. Then again, Ralph did build his shed to last. Doug, it'll be there in a thousand years. It'll never fall down.